Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kina Martin Cross Nation and for this, today's episode, I wanted to go over a new campaign that they're currently having uh, for the game that they really haven't really announced publicly or talked about that much, okay? Um, and I think it's really worth talking about because it, it's going to heavily, potentially heavily, influence the game. Um, as well as the fact I also think that it's really not getting the attention that it deserves, okay? I, I think I just repeated myself right there, but whatever. So, right here, okay, you'll see my screen. Um, we are currently on the third anniversary website page for Union Cross. If you remember, I made a video earlier about this, uh, in which case they had a few that were blurred out. Uh, because they weren't revealed yet. Okay, well now everything is revealed and there's one particular uh, event or item, campaign, whatever, that wasn't talked about. And we're going to be going over that today. So if we scroll down, okay, and we look at all these. Uh, okay, look at all these. We have the spirit campaign, the, the traits and everything, spirit pet, whatever. Avatar boards return, avatar corn campaign, popular events return, metal upgrades, that's completely new. The rest we already have, okay? The 1 million sweepstakes, the special login, 10,000 jewels uh, login bonus, and the wallpaper, okay? The metal upgrades, though, is completely new. Has not been talked about at all. Um, as far as I'm aware, they have not actually said this out loud. <laughs> it's not in any tweets. They allude to what they they allude to it in a tweet, but don't actually say what it's for. Uh, to me, I hate it when they do that. Because it's like, because of the history the game has, has, when they just allude to stuff or make us guess like, oh, what's the big surprise? Uh, because of the history of how bad this game has been the last few years, it, a lot of people don't really have high expectations or don't really feel like chasing for it a lot of times. Because we've been through a lot of moments where they would, you know, get our hopes up. They have they have a history of not really living up to expectations or in a way in cases like this where they're being very ambiguous or vague and they have a history of leading us the wrong way if that makes sense so I'm, I'm, I'm going on a little too much we'll just keep on going so in terms of the metal upgrades that they specify in here all right they say choose your metal upgrade already a huge statement thank you for letting us know what your favorite medals are. Later this month, we'll be making special upgrades to the top two medals. Stay tuned for more details. Okay. Now, just from looking at this, it seems, I, I would be like, okay, cool. It seems decent. But they say, thank you for letting us know what your favorite medals are. Okay, so what they are referring to here is actually a tweet from their Twitter page. The, uh, right here, I have a post up here. It's actually their pinned tweet at the moment. So if you just go to their, uh, to the Union Cross Twitter account, which is at kh underscore ux underscore na, if you go to their Twitter account, this is their pinned tweet. And it says, what's your favorite medal? Whether it's because of the character, the art, the abilities, or pure sentimental value, we've all got our personal favorites. Reply to this tweet with your single favorite medal. We're looking forward to hearing from you all. Now, for the most part, I'm completely okay with this tweet. However, I do have a major kind of a concern and complaint about how they did the tweet. Majorly because of the fact that they fail to reference what this tweet is for at all. Or they, they don't have any relation to the campaign about this at all in the tweet. So my major concern about this is because of the fact that they make tweets all the time, just kind of like, you know, talking to the public. Oh, hey, let us know what your favorite, uh, your, your favorite avatar part was. Or like, uh, show us a picture of your cute pet and stuff like that. They'll just post random stuff like that all the time. This tweet come, kind of comes across like another one of those. It just seems like a random, like, you know, feels good. Hey, hope you're enjoying the game. What's your favorite stuff type of thing? That's at least that's how it come across to me. Um, so... The way, because the because of the fact it comes across like that, I'm willing to bet many players are going to be 
stating medals more for aesthetic purposes rather than for a gameplay purpose. Okay, so because when I hear what's your favorite medal, I tend to think more of a sentimental value, um, typically in the form of like uh, how well has it helped me in the past, what I've used the most often. Like I still have a few like tier five medals in my mind uh, that I used to use all the time were like my favorite medals at the time and stuff like that. Uh, but I know for sure that if I wanted a metal upgrade, I know for sure they would not be the metals I would actually want upgraded either. Okay, so it's like the way that the tweet is worded comes across more as a generic tweet for a like feels good type thing rather than like an actual gameplay uh, reason. Okay, whereas if you had it worded where it mentioned this, then I'm willing to bet a lot of players would have approached it more in a competitive uh, gameplay approach and perspective okay so imagine if they said in their tweet that what's your favorite medal whether it's for blah 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 we'll be including it in part of our choose your medal upgrade campaign that will be coming up later this month imagine if they said something along those lines instead um i'm willing to bet that many more players would be listing medals knowingly that it's going to actually affect their gameplay okay because Realistically, as much as we all have our favorite medals for whether it's for uh, sentimental value or for the art or whatnot, uh, whatever the reason may be, everybody wants to do well, well in the game. Okay, everybody wants to try and pass as much content as possible. That's it, that's the most reasonable thing for any normal player, even if you're a casual player. The fact that Sephiroth just popped up in a game uh, not so long ago, or yeah, for the Hades Cup. I'm pretty. I'm willing to bet a lot of people would like to be able to like beat that. For example, even if they're a casual player, so people are more most logically going to go for the options that are most efficient. Okay, and in a tweet like this that doesn't really convey what it's for, um, and just kind of comes across as a typical feels good community uh, discussion type tweet, it. It has the right intentions, but but it's failing to deliver correctly, if that makes sense. Anyways, at the very least, if you want to take part in this, I don't know if it's too late or not. Um, people have already listed a bunch of medals. Some people are just trolling as well, too. Uh, but I don't know if they selected their medals already. But if they haven't, I would highly recommend going to this tweet. I'll leave a link to the tweet down below for you to check out. Uh, and go ahead and list your medals. My medals that I think deserve the upgrades the most, uh, it's unfortunate it's only two because realistically it should be at least four. My four would be, because they're all from the same batch, uh, my four would be the H Supernova HD Terra, Aqua, Ventus, and the, uh, the TVA medal, okay? Personally, I wish I could just say Elsa, because honestly, Elsa really deserves one too. She she has a really unique ability as well, but but more so for the BBS trio medals, just because of the fact that A, the TVA medal was super freaking expensive for whales to actually obtain um, and hard to obtain as well for many players. Uh, and B, because of the fact that like they would actually be some of the best medals in the game if they got the upgrade, okay? Uh, as it is right now, they are like barely like out of the meta okay they just need that slight edge if you probably got like good enough traits on them you could probably still use them competitively um and there are even some competitive setups right now that still use them a little bit um uh, even without the upgrade but they're just barely below the meta uh like setups like like composition at the moment that just that slight edge would make them like the best medals still okay it's unfortunate that they have good intentions but are kind of failing to deliver correctly. But that's kind of the whole point why I'm making this video to at least let you guys know. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way to know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Union Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video.
Peace, guys.